Hey guys, Holly here with Hey Dreams Art Studio. I don't know if I'm on yet. Hey guys, Holly here with Painted Dreams Art Studio. Sorry, I couldn't tell if I was on yet or not. <laughs> hey Ashley, how are you? Um, I'm here tonight to paint a little bit with you guys. I wanted to paint some old barn wood um, and talk to you about my, up, my new membership. So um, if anybody had any questions, I thought I'd hop on here so you guys could answer, so I could give you some answers. And we're going to paint. I've got a plan for some pumpkins. I'm going to do some stacked pumpkins on this canvas. Um, oh, Lord, I forgot what size it was. It's long. It's a good long canvas. We're going to paint old barn wood that we're going to, we're going for this effect here, okay? So, we'll see how it goes. I got an iPad that only has 2% on it. So, hopefully, um, it's in my brain so I can take care of it. But anyway, I've got um, some paint already mixed up and we're going to um, make some old barn wood so that I can put some stacked farmhouse looking pumpkins um, on this tomorrow night. So we're just gonna, this is part one of prop two or three parts. I don't know, it depends on how long it takes. All right, so let's get started painting. Um, the colors that I have on my palette right now, I mixed some colors. We've got, um, let me look. We've got teal mint and some thicket mixed together, and that gives us a greenish, uh, that greenish tint. The teal mint is is real bright teal, but I didn't want this to be so bright, so I mixed them together to give us um, a, a deeper color. And then I'm going to um, just paint, I'm painting with a big, probably a one and a half inch brush. And I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna go um, in the stroke, stroking it up and down the way that I want my wood to go, okay? I debated on whether I wanted to stack the pumpkins or put pumpkins down here. And I think my daughter decided I was going to stack them. So that's what we're going to do. She said, I think you need to stack them. Because that's what I put on my porch. Who puts pumpkins out? Y'all tell me, hey, when you get here, um, who does pumpkins on their porch for um, Thanksgiving? I do. I love them. And last year we had stacked pumpkins. And I went and bought some pots to put them in. So we're gonna um, we're gonna do those stacked pumpkins. They're not in pots, but you can imagine. All right, so this um, picture has a lot of grays in it. So I've got some black and white on my palette that I'm gonna mix gray. Normally, if I was making old wood, I would probably use some burnt umber or raw umber. But tonight, sorry, I had some, I had a paint booger. Y'all know what that is? It was on my canvas. I had to get it off. That's dried up paint. <laughs> Who has had a paint booger on their canvas? Somebody's going to get on to me for saying booger. I'm sure of it. Who's going to get on to me? All right. <laughs> so, we're 
we are just putting this on here. I'm just doing this one big bad coat and then we're going to put some details. We want the wooden details on here and we're going to make our wood go this way. Side to side, which is going to be ending up being up and down tomorrow. I need some more um, paint. All right. So this is how I mix this paint. I did teal mint. I'll put a lot on here. All right. I did thicket. It's a thicket. It's called, it's folk art thicket. It's a dark green color. And that just gets that, it kind of cuts it a little bit. If I have any in here. All right. I have another one. Woo. Saved by the bottle that wasn't empty. All right, and I'm mixing it together. You see how it was real bright blue, and now it's a greenish blue. And then I'm going to take this white over here and mix it in. So I did um, Thicket, Teal Mint, the Deco Art Americana series is what I was using. Except the... The Thicket is Folk Art. I think I got that at Walmart, actually. I've had it for a while. And then White. And that gives us that pretty, pretty turquoise-looking color. This one's a little darker, but that's okay because it's old barn wood, y'all. It's not going to be the same color all throughout. We're just going to put a few streaks in there and keep on moving. All right, y'all let me know when you get here. I need to take my big face off here. Let's do it like that so y'all can see better. How about it? So um, our practice, I don't know who was with me earlier today, but our practice got rained out so we didn't have to go um have band practice tonight i was going to do this later all right i'm adding some more white because i want it i want it a kind of streaky i don't necessarily just want it all blue so we're adding some more white and we're gonna have some white streaks in here And tomorrow night, we're going to put our pumpkins on. Y'all let me know when you get here. And um, holla, give me a holla. We're doing old barn wood. I know I keep saying that, but people, new people that are hopping on need to know what we're doing. We're gonna make stacked pumpkins tomorrow night on this old barn wood. We're just getting the base coat on right now. And if you're here, y'all, sprinkle this around so folks can see, see we're here and painting and having a good time. Just hit the share. Facebook doesn't like you to say that too much. Hey, Connie, how you doing? I'm glad you're here. We're painting the old barn wood tonight. Thank you. You're awesome. Can't say the other S word, you know. There's a few S words you can't say on here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell y'all again, I've got... Teal mint, thicket, and white on here. And I'm just getting this um, on my canvas as my base coat here. And I'm just using a big, big, fat, probably one and a half inch brush, truth be known. Maybe not one and a half, but it's pretty big. 
So our, um, yeah, band practice got canceled tonight. So I got to paint a little earlier than I planned. Hey, Melissa, how's it going? All right. So I'm here because I wanted to, to um, give y'all an opportunity, whoever's just signing on, to ask questions about um, my brand spanking new membership. I've got Miss Melissa already signed up. Thank you, Miss Melissa. I'm excited about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was kind of tired too. I wasn't looking for, I'm not gonna lie, I was not looking forward to go sit in the stadium, but it got rained out. So, all right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Um, black and kind of mix it in here to make a gray color because I want some gray. I'm going to use the side of my brush and I'm just going to kind of make some streaks here. And I kind of want it to do it while it's still a little bit wet. I'm just doing, I'm going to do big fat wood. I'm making gray. The picture that I'm using to make this, I'll show it to you, whoever didn't see it. This is kind of what we're going for right here. And it's kind of looking at in the camera, it kind of already looks like that, doesn't it? We're going to get it to look more like that though. So I'm using a big brush. I'm making some gray out of the colors I have on my palette. And we're just going to pull through. Want to go with the grain of the wood. Hey, Patricia. How's it going? If y'all are hopping on here, y'all say hey to me. I love to know who you are and where you're from. It's amazing to me how far of a reach this silly internet has. Crazy. We're talking about this old barn wood and we're going to um, paint pumpkins on it. And also we're talking about my brand new art membership. So I'm doing, so it's called Painted Dreamers Tribe. My VIP membership. And it's only $20 a month, y'all. You can't get in a membership that cheap right now. And the reason it's that cheap, I say cheap, it's not a cheap membership. It's just low price. That's probably the better word. I'm not a very good marketer, right? Um, the reason I'm starting so low is because it's brand new. Okay? So you'll be one of my founding members. And we're going to make it so awesome. I cannot wait. We are going to have a great time. I'm going to tell you what, um, what, um, oh, Florida. We love Florida. What part of Florida, Patricia? Um, we're going to make it an awesome membership. We're going to paint two originals every month. It may be more some months. We're going to do technique videos. Thank you. I, I, I'm so excited to see. Y'all, I didn't try this before I started. We're just going for it. I've painted some old barn wood in my time, so I knew I probably could do it. It actually looks better than I expected it to look. Not practicing. Oh, 20 minutes from Orlando. Were, were you here? Were you here the other night, Patricia? Because I remember that name. I tend to remember things I can't pronounce. <laughs> I 
kind of like this. Okay, I'm going to add a little white to my palette because I want it to kind of um, be kind of streaky. I don't want it to just, and, I, and I'll probably use, maybe use a knife too. But right now we're just using this brush and we're just kind of adding a few little white streaks here and there. And they're kind of turning gray and that's okay. I'm going to put, I can't decide what color pumpkins. Um, yeah, I think you are. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, um, if I tried to pronounce that, let's see. Apoka? Apoka? I can't. I'm not dumb, I swear. I'm a nurse. I, 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 can, I did go to college. <laughs> I'm just adding some streaks in here so it won't be so starkly blue. So what color do y'all want me to do the pumpkins? Because I was thinking I was going to do white to make it kind of farmhouse. Um, but I can't decide because I love orange pumpkins. They're beautiful. Somebody tell me what color I should do the pumpkins. We may be getting ahead. We may move on to the pumpkins tonight. Because uh, I didn't think I would finish this part this quick. This wasn't that hard. A pop, a popka, a popka. Did I say it right? A popka. <laughs> I think by George, I think I have it. All right. All right. Any takers on what color I should paint these pumpkins? What do y'all want to see? Orange or white? All right, let's look at the picture and see if we got it there. White? Yeah, I think so too. That's pretty darn close. What y'all think? Hey, Connie says white. Patricia says white. Melissa? White, okay. We're gonna do it. Y'all wanna keep going? Keep on going. I really thought this was gonna take me way longer. Okay, so that is that. I'm not gonna mess up my background. I like it. It looks really good. Yay. See, that's what I get for not... um I put part one on this video, too. They're going to get on there and be shocked that it's going to be done. <laughs> All right, let's put a couple of just dots at the top, like nail holes, maybe. What y'all think about that? You can't even see that. I could have skipped that part, huh? We're going to put some nail holes in it. I'm just going in the same color that I've been using. This gray color. Yeah, white is so popular. Y'all sprinkle around if you don't mind. It makes um, everything kind of get out there to more folks. Okay. I think I'm going to put some nail holes kind of in here too. Hey, my um, stepdaddy's barns, the nails were not symmetrical. <laughs> I'm making some symmetrical nail holes here. Let 
We just stuck nails wherever. All right, we're going to do a little row right here, too. We've got an OCD carpenter doing our nail holes right here. Um, I need a little bit of black. All right. So if anybody has any questions about um, my tribe, tribe is going to membership. Um, the registration's open right now until Saturday at midnight. I know a couple of y'all already joined that are here tonight. I'm so excited. We're going to have a great, great time. I've got some good things planned. My membership is only $20 a month. You can't hardly find one for that cheap. And that's because it's a founding member launch. Y'all are y'all will be some of my first, first members, my special folks. Yay, Melissa. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do my pumpkins coming this way. The camera's kind of whack. So I'm going to take my face off in here so we can make it bigger. Uh-oh. That, not that way. Oh. All right. Let me remove. Okay. All right. It's got to dry some. All right. I'm going to get some white on my canvas. We're going to do white stacked pumpkins. I'm going to do a little bit of this creamy white color too. I'm just dumping stuff on here. All right. It's got to dry a little bit. I'm going to, I've got to move over here to the end of my table. So y'all can still see. And I'm going to just kind of put my outline on here with this white real quick. And we will add details after that. Okay. We're going to just, can y'all see? We're going to put, we're going to come down here and put little parentheses. I want the bottom one to be kind of big. So we're just getting an outline here so we can to go by. So when you're doing pumpkins, you want, you know, it has a stem right here. So you want them to kind of, all the lines to kind of come from that way. So I'm gonna start here again and add another line. And if you always come back to that same place or close to it, which you can't if you're making a huge one, but around that same place, it will start looking like a pumpkin. See how that looks like a pumpkin? If you're just getting here, let me know you're here. We're doing farmhouse pumpkins. I'm going to hang these in my house for Thanksgiving or for fall period. Okay. So this is the outline of our pumpkin. I'm going to um, kind of outline all of them real quick. Let's see. I want to come. So I, because they're stackable, I'm kind of making it flat right here. Let's do another one right about here. I'm just making parentheses to make these pumpkins. All 
and I'm coming to the same point and adding bigger parentheses, bigger C's, like big C's. Ooh, these are so cute. I, like, I love them already. I may have to do another one of these and give them to somebody. I like giving stuff away. Hey, Glenda. Thank you. So I kind of want this one a little bit smaller than the bottom one. But we'll stop right there. All right, let's do another one. We're going to put this one right here. We're going to leave ourselves enough room to put a stem. Just making some parentheses. Then the fun begins. You get to add more and more color. So is anybody here um, thinking about joining my Painted Dreamers tribe and have any questions? I would love to answer them for you. The doors are open until Saturday at midnight. And then I'm going to close them up for a while and love on my people. We're going to paint and have fun. This is my founding member launch. It's only $20 a month right now. It will never be this price again. This is the lowest it will ever be. And I'm so excited about it. I've been working on it for a while now. And it is time to do it. Patricia, are you out of here? I'm glad you got to learn how to make pumpkins, too. What do y'all think so far? They look good. I like them. All right, I'm going to get a bigger brush. I got to have a bigger brush. Let's see. I think I need a bigger brush. Y'all remember that commercial? That Taco Bell commercial? I think I need a bigger box. Well, I need a bigger brush. Okay. I'm going in the white and that. I'm going to go in the solid white and the creamy white. And I'm going to just start doing that same stroke. And I am okay that my background's not completely dry because I kind of like that color getting dispersed in there. What do y'all think? And I'm going to just use that same exact stroke over and over again to paint these pretty white pumpkins on this old barn wood. Cute. So today I did a tutorial. The um, I did the um, funky tree tutorial, <laughs> and it turned funky because the sound cut out halfway through. So if anybody wants to paint that, go for it. But I am going to add. I'm going to probably edit it and just add the sound, like talk it through instead of painting it the whole thing again. 
Can y'all see okay? I might turn this light down a little bit. Is that better? I think it is. I'm going to scoot this up so y'all can see it better. So the sound went out. So if you're watching it and you want to paint it, bear with me. I'm going to fix the sound. Half of it's done. Like you, it's fine. The very beginning you can hear and the ending you can hear, but there's about 20 minutes in the middle that I think somebody called my phone and it just messed up the sound and I didn't even know till some sweet person, Miss Glenda, told me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go up to this next one. I'm just using both of these colors. I'm not mixing them completely. I'm just dabbing in both of them. Ooh, I kind of like this. Yes, just be aware that... Um, <laughs> Melissa, be aware that that tree, the sound goes out for a little while, but it comes back. But really and truly, all I'm doing is dotting. <laughs> I'm using that dotter thing, and you can just make dots. You can look at it and see what I'm doing. But I am going to try to edit the sound. My tech abilities have been bad this week. <laughs> I get better every time, but man, it messes you up when something like that happens. I'm getting all this white on, and then we'll go back and add some details. And if you're just getting here, y'all holler at me. Tell me who you are. I'm glad you're here. We've been talking about my um, brand new art membership. I'm super excited about. It's The doors are open now until Saturday. Saturday at midnight. Come join me. The information I put in the um, link. And actually I was going to add it to this comment. So I'm going to add it right now. There we go. I added um, the information in the comments if anybody wants it, more information. It is my founding member launch. It is only $20 a month. And we're going to do lots of fun things. So now's your chance to ask me any questions. I am totally painting more of these. I, I'm going to paint several. And I may just have to give some away. Who would want this for their house? Y'all can paint it, though. Okay. But it would be a good gift. Totally good gift. Okay, so on this top one, I want my stem to come out here, but I'm going to put like a little hump right here, and I'm going to put a little hump right here. When I say hump, I'm just literally taking my brush and doing that little number, because I want my stem to be right here. So I'm doing a little hump like the back of it showing, kind of poking up in the back. No, this is on canvas. We just made the wood. 
We um we did we took a picture. I'm gonna show you, Patricia. We took a picture. Oh, my iPad died. I knew it was gonna. So I took a picture of some old wood and I tried to make it look like that. And it does. And I did that at the very beginning. So when you um when you want to paint it, go back and watch the very beginning and you'll see it's just on a canvas. Let me tell y'all what size canvas this is. I gotta find my um, measuring tape. It's right here. Okay, it is a 24 by 12. 24 by 12 canvas. And you can do them on any size, but I love this long, this long size looks really good. Yes, we just took a picture and said, hey, let's try it. I, usually, I, when I get on here, I have already done the painting and I'm redoing a painting. Well, I did not do this first. So this is paint as we go. Paint as we go pumpkins. I love that I did not wait for the background to dry because that blue is shining through and I really like the way it looks. I wish y'all could see it closer. Let me try to hold it up closer. See how that blue is coming through? It looks really good in person. I have a glare on my computer screen, so I can't really tell how well y'all can see it. Okay, I'm going to mix a little bit of this black into this white and try to make some streaks in here. I don't want to use too much. All right, so I'm going to just put my lines back in here. Let's see, I had one right here and right here. And you may have to wait till it dries a little bit to do this because it's taking the white off the canvas. Oh, that got a little black. That's okay. It kind of looks good like that. Just play with them. We're just playing around with it. You're seeing my creative process. Sometimes I start all over again. All right, I'm going to move to this one. All right, I got to get some more black on my canvas. I mean, on my palette. Farmhouse pumpkins. Ooh, I like them. Okay. So I'm not bringing this one all the way to the top because remember those little humps are the back of my pumpkin. So I want my stem to come out from right there. We'll get some more black on my can on my palette because I'm running out. Oh, 
cute. And you could do some of this with a knife. Hey, who, who out there has used a palette knife before? I love a palette knife. It might be time to get a smaller brush out. <laughs> All right. All right, let's add a stem. Maybe come out right here. Ooh, these are going to look so good in my house. All right, I'm rinsing my brush. I'm gonna get a smaller brush to do my stem. And I love a flat brush. You could do a round brush if you wanted to. I gotta find my napkin, there it is. I just love this little, um, flat, this number 10 flat brush. Oh Lord, I'm dropping stuff on my painting. Oh well, we'll fix it. Look, watch this. All fixed. There. Okay, let's add the stem. So I think that I'm going to use a raw umber. It's a more of a gray, a grayer tone than the, the um, burnt umber. The burnt umber has more of a red tone. And since we're kind of going farmhouse, we're gonna use um, we're gonna use raw. I like that. I think that'll look better with this. And then tomorrow night we're gonna. I'm gonna think about it a while and figure out where exactly I want stuff. But we'll probably add a few little things coming out. I don't know leaves or something. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's do a, let's see, I'm going to do it like this. Y'all want to do a twirly stem? Ooh, I like that. I like the twirly stem. What do you what about y'all? I like the twirly stem. You just gotta commit to the twirl. You gotta think, I'm gonna do this and do it. Be confident. Yes. Who doesn't love twirls? Okay. This is not bad for one, for not even how long have we been on here? 44 minutes. Think about how many of these you could make to sell at a craft show. Yeah, I like it too. These, these will be awesome at a craft show. I'm going to add some of this raw umber in here. And I bet they would, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but in Alabama, everybody has changed all their colors to farmhouse. Is that a thing all over the place? I think Chip and Joanna, I think they started it. What do y'all think? Y'all know who I'm talking about when I say Chip and Joanna? Who watches HGTV? <laughs> Old Chip and Joanna. All right. Oh my God, 
Oh my gosh. Do y'all hear my daughter? I don't know what she's doing. Is it okay? Yeah, it's totally a thing here. Like we just repainted all our stuff. We had yellow. Okay, the art the artist in me loves jewel tone colors and um kind of fought against the farmhouse thing. But I've kind of gotten into it now. But I still love, I had yellow walls in the last two houses, like the kind of a mustard yellow color. And I loved it. So I fought against the old barnyards or the farm farmhouse look. But mom started building her house next door to us. And she had all farmhouse look. So, I loved it. I'm like, ooh, I need to paint my walls. So, we painted every room in our house except for one, which is the guest bedroom. And that's mostly because I already I have some curtains that I've made to match in there. And I love them, and I didn't want to change it. So, it looks okay. Nobody ever goes in there anyway. <laughs> All right. We're getting there, y'all. I'm not sure we're going to need to do much more. Sometimes I think about it and I overdo it. And I look back at the video and I think, hmm, I should have stopped right there. But I kept going. <laughs> Who does that? So I'm just taking this raw umber and making these lines back in here. And I'm not, it's kind of brushy strokes and I'm using the flat brush. I'm just doing real light, wispy strokes. My paint is still wet a little bit from my pumpkins. So, it's kind of mixing and making a gray color, and I like it. So, I'm using raw umber, and I'm running out of it. I'm going to do this little hump right here and do a little hump right here. Like the back, I might need to do another one right there. Let me get some white. It looks a little uneven. All right, I'm going to go right here and add just a little white right here. That cream. Just to finish off that little area. Do it right here too. I may, okay, there we go. I like that better. All right, now I gotta go back in here and get this raw umber and outline it. Okay. I think we are close to being done. If you didn't catch the beginning, make sure you go back and watch and paint it. And when you do, I really want to see the picture. Y'all send me a picture. I want to see them. I like to see it. It makes me so happy. I get so excited. I show my whole family. I'm like, look, my people, my people, because y'all are my people. My people sent me a picture, and I love it. I get excited. I share y'all with my family. Okay.
All right, I think we're done, y'all. It looks good. Who's going to paint this? We may add some more stuff to it to not tomorrow, but I'm going to plan it out. This was totally impromptu. I said, I'm going to paint some pumpkins, and here we are painting them. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm done. Y'all go back and watch the replay if you're just getting here. Um, I would love for I'd love to see the um, painting that you do. If you do it, y'all take a screenshot, text it to me, 334-471-8321. This comes directly to my phone. And if you have any questions, you can ask me um, anything, and I'll text you back. All right? Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you for coming. Um, so y'all, um, don't forget to click the link and read about uh, my brand new membership. I'm really excited about it. We're going to do some very fun things um, in there. And um, I would love to, for you to join me. It'd be awesome. All right. So if you have any questions about it, just text me. Um, any questions you have or you can just comment in this um, post and I will see it and I will get back to you ASAP. And um, we'll see you next time. I'll be back tomorrow to paint something. I got to go figure out what we're going to paint. Y'all post and tell me what you want to paint. Let me know. Send me a picture. We'll look at it and see if I can do it. All right. Y'all have a good night.